Hey y'all, coming to you from the headquarters of Scotty D TV. But I was at the 2018 Detroit Autorama and I found a 34 Ford pickup I think y'all are gonna like. Come on, let's take a look at it. Jason, thanks so much for giving me some time today. Hey, how are you, Scotty? Good. Tell me about this uh, truck you built. Well, uh, so far this is the most special build that I've ever been allowed to do. Um, had a just the greatest client that you could ever ask for. Um, Danielle uh, Lutz, this is her truck. It's a 34 Ford pickup. It, um, it's the most quality build that we've ever done. Um, we're here at the Detroit Autorama and this is the first debut of it. We uh, have good intentions of uh, hopefully squeezing in the grade eight with it. Um, Tell me some of the things you've done to it. All right, we basically, she shipped me a running, driving 1980s model build street rod truck. I used the cab and the doors and built everything else by hand. Um, it's chopped four and a half inches. The cab's been stretched. The doors have been flush fit. The A pillars have been slanted back. It's sitting on a one-off custom built frame and chassis. The wheelbase has been stretched in some areas, shortened in others. One off hood, one off valve covers, one off wheels. The uh, quick change is kind of a neat feature. It's got uh, mounted on quarter elliptics with a custom machined wishbone and it's actually exposed inside the bed. It features louvered belly pans underneath. Relicate leather interior from Gil Vigil at Speed and Design. He just killed it on the interior. Yeah, very nice. Uh, one off custom grill. Uh, it's got a little stroked 347 small block Ford that we really dressed up. It's got in Gleese eight stack injection. It's got power windows, air conditioning. So it's basically got the creature comforts of a new car, right but it's 1934. Dude, you nailed it. Thank you. And you, Thank I you. mean, you, you don't specialize in trucks, but you've had some no. success with trucks. Yeah. Let's put it that way. We build whatever somebody comes along and they want. Right on. Yep. And yep. I think you did a great job. What color Thank you. is that? That is an original early model Ford color. It's called Washington Blue. Yep. It, yep. Is, um, it is the real deal Washington Blue color. That's neat. And then the accent color, the gray. It, it's, a, it's a cast, a light cast gray powder coat with a slight texture. All right. Um, I run across that several years ago, and I've kind of been using that on, you know, suspension parts and whatnot, and I think it really ties just gorgeous with the blue color. Dude, you nailed it. So, I don't know. I would keep thank you. everything thank the you. same. Thank yeah, you. And if people are wanting to follow what you do, what's the best way to do that? Check out my website. It's jasongrahamhotrods.com or locate us on Facebook or Instagram. Cool. Anybody you need to give a shout out to? Josh at Relic at Leather. Uh, he helped us a lot. Gil Vigil, he did the, the interior. Oh man, the list just goes on and on. Steve Tracy really helped us out last minute on some chrome plating at Advance. PPG's been great. You know, of course, Boom Mad is a good supporter. Probably the most, the person I'd like to recognize the most would be Greg Leonard at Neely Precision. He's a local friend of mine and they have a machine shop uh, there. He helps me just tremendously. Every little detailed part that I need machined Man, he will get it to me that's the secret. sometime that afternoon. That's you a know. Jason Graham secret. Well, He's it got is. a buddy that's a machinist. Well, right? there you go. That's there you it. go. It's uh, this industry is, you know, it's somewhat sad to say in a way, but it is one of those who you know oh, things. That definitely is. So, that. Well, but, brother, please keep keep building cool because I love to see it when it comes out. All right, thank you. So there you go from the 2018 Detroit Autorama and Jason Graham Hot Rods in the 1934 Ford pickup. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.